Hello, hello everybody, this is TipTopMTG here today with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video, we are talking about Signature Spellbook Chandra, what it looks like, and what cards are in it. So, uh, this product was announced a little while ago, and today on Daily MTG, they announced what cards are going to be in it, what they're going to look like, and so I'm going to break those down, and we are going to just kind of go over them. So, why don't we get started? Uh, Signature Spellbook Chandra is a collection of 8 cards plus one premium foil version of one of those 8 cards at random. So yes, you will end up with 9 cards, so you'll end up with 2 of 1 card. It's the ideal way to show your love of Chandra, stylize your commander deck, or help the world burn in a good way. Check out the packaging and all 8 cards below, and it'll be exclusively available, uh, it'll be available exclusively in English and at local game stores on June 26th. So that's coming up right around the corner. I actually kind of predicted that today would be the day they announced it, because if you guys don't know, spoilers for our course at 2021 start tomorrow and end on like the 20th, so they would have had to announce it, would have had to announce it within like 6 days. And they wouldn't want to be like, here's a set themed rent fairy. Oh, here's Chandra. So, yeah. So why don't we break these down? So we have Chandra Torture Defiance. That was already revealed, but uh, that is a fairly good card. It's sitting at $20, which, by the way, these uh, on average go for $20. So uh, theoretically, you are just making up the value of it with one card. Now, that is not exactly true because these prices are going to go down. But if you look at it as though the, the cards were never reprinted, this thing so far has $20 worth of value. Um, and actually, since this has been revealed for a while, I'm sure that price has drifted down because people knew that there was going to be a uh, reprinting of it. Uh, then we have Cathartic Reunion, which was just reprinted in Ikoria. And uh, by the way, Chandra Torture Defiance and Cathartic Reunion both have reused art. Um, but yeah, uh, Cathartic Reunion is a 25 cent card. Fiery. No, one second. Before I continue, these might be higher because of the alternate art version of them. But just, you know, if you're looking at it from a reprint standpoint, we have Fiery Confluence, which uh, is currently sitting at $11.99. Again, that'll probably go down. Uh, almost definitely go down. Uh, very powerful card. This one, I believe, is new art. We have Past in Flames, which we also knew was coming back, which is currently sitting at $5.99. We have Pyroblast, which has new art, uh, along with Past in Flames. Um, that one is sitting at $3.99. Uh, Pyromancer's Ascension, this one is sitting at $0.39. Cents. Um, this one, I believe, is also new art. Uh, we have Rite of Flame, which is $2.29, uh, and that's new art. And then Young Pyromancer, that is not new art, and that's sitting at $0.79. Cents. So, looking at the value, you end up getting, you know, somewhere close to, like, 40 bucks for all of the cards. Now, of course, those are going to go down in value once this is printed, so don't expect you to be able to buy this and then just sell everything for 40 bucks because you are guaranteed getting these. However, because you get the one random foil, it is chance-based, you know, it's, you could end up with a foil Cathartic Reunion, you could end up with a foil Chandra Torture Defiant, and uh, what's kind of surprising here is in comparison to the last ones, and I did, I think I talked about this a little bit last time, Chandra Torture Defiant is not the first Chandra, um, I, in the past, the Planeswalker included was like the first one, versus this one, they seem to pick it because of its value or its power, um, some of these cards are very specific. They don't really work well together. I mean, Rite of Flame literally needs you to have like four of them if you want to play it. So, you know, I'm not, if you're looking at this as a collector, pretty cool. Maybe you're still collecting the signature spell books. You know, that, that might be interesting to do. But uh, overall, it's a product I would be perfectly fine skipping. But if you enjoy Chandra or like the way these cards look, I like the mana symbols and all that, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're getting this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick one. I just need to let I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, all this information was released. Alrighty guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.